Now, Ukrainian vigils, marches and rallies are continuing across the East Midlands this weekend to mark one year since Vladimir Putin sent Russian troops into Ukraine. Yesterday, a peace procession took place in Derby and today the Nottingham Ukraine Solidarity Campaign is marking the anniversary, as Emma Snow reports. One year on, and it doesn't look like the war in Ukraine will end anytime soon. That's why campaigners want to keep the war at the forefront of people's minds. We need to keep the pressure on politicians. If it's not in the minds of the people, if people are not interested, then obviously, generally politicians are not interested either. And then, you know, there's a chance that support that Ukraine's getting now could um, disappear. And we can't afford for that to happen. We can't afford for Ukraine to lose. To mark one year on, a march and rally is taking place here in the city centre. There's also going to be talks from local community members and also leaders too. Yesterday in Derby, a candlelit peace procession took place starting from the Cathedral Green. We spoke to Katerina, who made the painful choice to leave her home behind. I'm very sad and I think about my family, about the people of Ukraine every day. We believe in victory and I believe that, I hope that everything would be fine and we can come back and build new Ukraine. The future for the country is uncertain, but there's still hope. It's more than hope. I think it's a certainty. It's just a matter of time and uh, how many more Ukrainian lives have to be lost in the process. If they can launch an offensive in uh, spring, the Ukrainians and break through Russian lines, I'm hoping the, the Russian army will just collapse. Um, so I'm, I'm praying for this year. Emma Snow, BBC Midlands Today, Nottingham.